Okay, let's go for a ride on the little Orbit 125. As we pull out of the driveway, well, you can tell straight away, we're going straight up a hill, you can feel it's 96 kilograms, not a heavy scoot, and 125cc four strokes, got plenty of power. This is quite a nimble scoot too, you'd expect that, 12 inch wheels, they're basically a moderate sort of size for a 125, uh, but this has got a really broad contact patch, so you do feel very, very planted to the road, it feels a very safe scoot. As we go around a longer corner, it feels very planted. For $2,190, this is actually a, quite a good package, the seat feels comfortable, suspension feels planted. And as we come to a stop, the front and rear brakes give them a good squeeze. Acceleration in traffic, and obviously this scoot's going to pull away faster than most of the traffic around you anyway, which is exactly what I'm looking for in a scooter. I don't want to go slower than traffic. I want to do traffic speeds or even a little bit quicker. And the 125cc seems to have plenty of pull. Quite a short wheelbase, so it is a nippy scooter, but you've got to remember top speed of around about 90 kilometres an hour. You're not going to break the land speed record, and the wheels and the wheelbase seem to be quite well suited to this size of scooter. Yeah, so for $2,190 plus your on road costs. This is a terrific little scoot, very easy to ride, nice and light, easy to put on the stand, plenty of space under the seat. Oh, it ticks a lot of boxes, it's basically a very hard scooter to beat.